Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, dear students, once again, I welcome you to today's class. Today, we are going to deal with the 12th lesson. The name of the lesson is Holy Orders. Have you heard the name Holy Orders? Yes, of course, I know that when we all learnt the 7 sacraments, we learnt the 6th sacrament is Holy Orders. So today we are going to learn more deeply about this sacrament. So one, can I ask a question? Can all of us receive this sacrament? No. So the sacraments are holy orders received only the chosen persons of God. Once the sacraments of holy orders they receive they are anointed forever for the mission of Christ so dear students which are the sacraments we all of us receive uh, the beginning we learn the first three sacraments the baptism anointing and the Holy Kurvana. Isn't it? So today as we learn the sacraments, what is what does it mean the holy orders? The holy orders received by the priest. We all are familiar with the priest. Especially we know wherever we belong in the parish, we every day see the priest and we go for the Holy Kurbana and we experience through them the blessings. And every day we pray to the priest and especially uh, when we are sick, when we are in any confusion, struggles, difficulties, some of you might go and share and they give guidance, supports. Why? Because they do the work of Jesus Christ and the mission of church. So today we are going to learn mainly three things. The first one is who is a priest and what is the mission of priest and what are the responsibilities of priest? So when we look at the life of Jesus, the public life of Jesus, Jesus appointed 12 disciples and he did not take just from here and there any of the disciples of Jesus. He prayed to the, his father after that he chosen whomever he wanted and first and foremost the responsibility of a disciple is to be with him okay the gospel of saint mark chapter 3 15 we read after appointing the doll 
and he told them to be with him to be sent out for preaching the gospel and given them the power to cast out the demons the first and foremost the responsibility of a disciple of jesus is to be with jesus and after that to be sent out to preach the good news and to cast out the demons okay so here the responsibility of a priest is first of all to experience the love of christ after that when they experience what they do they share with everyone so here like the disciples the priest is chosen specially by jesus and they commit themselves totally to serve jesus and the church and in the lesson you can see the first page the image of good shepherd so where the G, where jesus is carrying a little lamb and all other sheep are there around that is the image given so what is the responsibility of a shepherd the shepherd who guard and protect the sheep and here jesus is a good shepherd to all of us to the church especially the people who are under his authority now we can see in our own parishes there is a parish priest he is known as the shepherd of the parish for your understanding what is his duty he gives jesus through the word of god and he offers the holy kurbana and he goes to the sick and visit the pray over them and whenever the people who are in struggle or difficulty he gives them guidance support and even he sacrifices his life for the welfare of the people who are under his authority okay so here the good shepherd always sacrifices his life for the sheep now we can see here in this image jesus as a good shepherd leads and guides every one of them okay here and how did he sacrifice his life he sacrificed his life giving his own life and he died for the sin of each one of us isn't it after that through his life death and resurrection everyone experience the living presence of jesus so after that jesus handed over this mission to the disciples from disciples they went to preach the good news all over the world isn't it after that now the church continue the mission through each one of us so once we are baptized we partake in the mission of christ and the persons those who are chosen to priesthood especially they set apart their life for the mission of jesus now you see there is a hierarchical order in the church the beginning jesus he is the head of the church and there afterwards the apostles were there after their life now you see 
we have got number of cardinals bishops priests deacons in the church so now who is the successor of the apostles when we look at the bishops and priests they are the successors of the disciples and they lead and guide the church towards the kingdom of god towards jesus and each and every priest are chosen from among the people when we look at the priest they just they don't come from heaven they are simple ordinary people who come from our own families but they sacrifice their life for the mission of christ and to lead and guide the people the letter to the hebrews chapter 5 verse 1 we read a priest is specially chosen from among the people for the people and appointed for the service the literal meaning of the priest is one who is placed before so he is placed before us in front of us who is a person who leads all people towards the kingdom of god and the person who is ordained to priesthood perform the duties of teaching sanctifying and leading the church that is the duties of the priest they are appointed to teach every day the holy kurbana when they break the word of god they teach they explain the meaning of word of god to the people and the people are enlightened they are they receive the message of god through a priest and through the service he preach the gospel and administrate the sacraments and he guides everyone and the priest have the responsibility or the authority to administer the sacraments which is instituted by Christ so the people of god through these sacraments receive the heavenly blessings so now let us see the definition of the holy orders holy orders is sacrament that empowers and appoints through the grace the bishops priests and deacons to serve the people of god through preaching of the gospel administration of sacrament and shepherding the flock so through this sacrament it empowers and appoints through grace the bishop priest and deacon to serve the people of god okay here they receive the power of god through this sacrament and he is the eternal priest in baptism everyone share his priesthood now we have got a common priesthood but they the priest are appointed from the bishop and they are specially anointed through this sacrament the holy orders the Uh, common priesthood is for everyone those who receive the baptism but here the priesthood here they receive the anointing from the bishop okay through that they have the special power and authority to guide and lead the people so dear students here priest are specially chosen and appointed from this to serve the people so the priesthood is known as 
ministerial priesthood it is the ministry okay common priesthood is everyone so we all are chosen to proclaim the word of god give jesus wherever we are but it is the mission of the priest that when they minister their duties and responsibilities and it is the one of the important sacri sacrament of holy orders and they receive by laying the hands of the bishops upon them and this order this sacrament they receive as a sign of their holy mass okay so here the um, other than the priest there are no other persons have the permission to celebrate the holy mass because they are anointed and appointed by the by their authority through the sacrament okay here now the sacrament of holy order is a special blessing given to the church to continue the salvific plan of jesus and the priest is a person who receive this sacrament and serves everyone so when we understand the meaning of priest who is placed before okay the literal meaning we learn that the person who is placed before us to lead and guide all of us and unite everyone in the love of Christ through their ministry of preaching teaching and healing okay so they have given the special authority from god okay through this the we experience the heavenly blessings from god so nowadays you also especially the boys those who aspire to live a life of holiness to serve the people of god can also choose this sacrament which is very very holy and divine so through that we need to surrender ourselves to god okay so this sacrament gives life to the people through their own charitable work the way they do their ministry and we all experience the blessings through a priest so dear students sometimes there is a tendency the people speak sometimes uh, speak ill of the priest once they are appointed and anointed by christ we have no right to speak against them so instead of uh, speaking ill of them or making fun of them we need to pray for them to receive more and more grace to lead the people of god to was the eternity so dear students you are now very small and you all of us especially the boys you have a plenty of chance you can eat. there are different orders in the priesthood itself maybe it can be a diocesan or different just you would see a mine or different different congregations are there but all of them some day we are confused the some of the uh, may be seeing the different colors of their dress or anything but commonly everyone serve the people of god okay so keeping that mind please let us also have that humility to listen to the priest and sometimes where the people those who speak against them or in love them please do not join with those people 
and please pray for the grace because they are all human beings like all of us isn't it so we need to respect and give reverence okay so let us make a short prayer and conclude today's our session loving lord jesus we thank you we praise you for this time jesus you are the great priest for each one of us and you appointed the 12 of his disciples to be with you and to experience you dear lord we ask the blessings and graces upon all the priests all over the world through your loving mercy and compassion every one of them experience your love care and protection we make this prayer through christ our lord amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit amen